of your special guests here present so that we can uh, recognize them one after the other. You see, I'd like to recognize the publisher of Prestige Magazine, Mr. Wale Abiodu. Please put your hands together for Wale Abiodu. Is he here? Wale Abiodu. I'd like to also Wow, these are all publishers. Mr. Sunday at DME, Publisher Society Herald Magazine. Please put your hands together for him. I'd like to also um, recognize Mr. Emeka Michael, um, representative of the CP Ogun State, Mr. Okunko, DPO Ibafo. Is he here? The DPO? Is he here, please? Oh, you're welcome. Oh, I was sitting close to the DP yourself. <laughs> now, wow. All right, I'd like to also uh, welcome the GMC founder and the uh, United Nations Peace Ambassador, uh, Ambassador Cornel Udofia. A round of applause for Cornel Udofia, a public relations uh, guru. You're welcome. A veteran actor, Mrs. Rachel Oniga. Wow, is Rachel here? Rachel Oniga. Just left. Wow, Rachel, that's nice. And also Oliver Duke. Oliver Duke, a comedian. All right, thank you very much. And Anita Bright. Anita Bright is a presenter. Is she here? Okay. These are all people that... Uh, and I also want to say that uh, I can see, though his name is not here, uh, he's vying for the governorship of Lagos State. Uh, you all know him very well. Please, uh, I want you to put your hands together for no other than Mr. Badamosi. Please put your hands together for him. Thank you very much. All right. Um, on list, we'll still uh, come back to you. A round of applause as he comes on stage to give his welcoming address. Behind schedule. It is due to some unforeseen circumstances, and we had to wait for some people. They are very important to what we're doing here this evening. Eva. I want to observe all protocols. My keynote speaker, I appreciate you for coming, for taking the pains for coming. Dr. Demola, you are welcome. I appreciate um, your presence here in our midst this evening. Um, the representative of uh, the CP of uh, Ogun State, I can see you, you are welcome. Bobby Bosco, you are welcome. I sincerely very, very much appreciate uh, every one of us here this evening who have come to celebrate Classic Magazine at 9 and uh, the seventh edition of uh, Classic African Merit Award Kama. We appreciate you and the utmost prayer is that um, at your day of celebration, you will have men and women to celebrate you. All my goal this evening is to appreciate you to appreciate Nigerians, to appreciate you for being there for us. The corporate bodies are stakeholders who have been there for us over the years. We appreciate you, the banks. Is there any bank? We can see the representatives there. UBA, Forest Bank, and all the rest. We pray that you continue to be our backbone. Continue to support us as we um, forge ahead. You know, God willing, we are celebrating 10, 20, and beyond. We sincerely very much appreciate you, our other stakeholders, the vendors, and other people who have made our work very easy for us. We appreciate you, the League of Software Publishers, 
I can see you. You're welcome. CMC Gladiators, you're welcome. Easy Youth Movement, you're welcome. I appreciate everybody here. Um, Prophet Victor Zebe, you're welcome. Prophet SCN, Chris, you're welcome. And most importantly, I have to thank my staff who have been my strength, you know, in making all of these exercises. I appreciate you all and my family who have tolerated me in all of this. I appreciate everybody here this evening. Thank you very much. I'm not here to give any speech because we have somebody who are here who is absolutely qualified to give a speech. In due course, he will be here to give us um, what we want to listen as we forge ahead as a nation. Thank you very much. Sit down, relax. God willing, we will have a very beautiful event this evening. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, and may God bless you in Jesus' name. Father, then Uncle, Uncle Babatsunde. The Excellency now, because he is campaigning for governorship. Babatsunde, Ola Liri, but I recognize your presence, sir. I would like to say a very big thank you to you and Auntie for always supporting we, the actors, because you support us a lot, especially the producers. We're always using your estates to shoot our movies, and you're very accommodating. Thank you so much. We appreciate you and we love you. Thank you so much. All right, I would also like to recognize the ADP governorship. Oh, that's him. Oh, sorry. We'd like to recognize um, Messi Alexandra. Is she in the building? Can you wave your hands? All right. <laughs> I'm on a clap now. Let's appreciate one another, please. It's going to make it all fun. Teresa Adeyemi, a round of applause for her. <laughs> Prophet Dr. Victor Oziaide. I don't know if I got that right. I get that right. <laughs> all right. God bless you. Um, Honorable Ademola Bukwola. One clap. Ah. I think the organizer is not um, he's doing something wrong because people are not clapping no. We need to clap. Let's appreciate one another, you know. Okay, um, we go on to recognize doc, the doctor of what? Who is the next person? Baba. Sorry. Okay, um, Honorable Ademola Kokola, Director of Foreign Affairs of Baba Sonwolu. Yes. <laughs> All right, representing Sonwolu here. And uh, we have Ambassador Dabling. Dabling. Wow, Dabling. We are really blinging. <laughs> Interesting. All right. We still have more names coming. We have Mr. Tunde Mushud, publisher of um, this handwriting, eh? This handwriting, go go. Documenting. Aquarium, Empire, right? Empire, Mag. em Empire Magazine. Oh, wow. Okay. You're welcome, sir. AZ Youth Movement, you're welcome. Prophet Victor Zegbe, you're welcome. Mrs. Aki Yulua. Uluwa Toyi E, you're welcome. Engineer Dozien Banefo, Julius Akbovie, publisher of um, Witness Magazine. Uh, Mr. Chris Edafe, Pastor Chris Essien, CPS Gamma Peters, Comrade uh, Onoje, CSP, sorry, not CPS, wow. CSP Gamma Peters, I know you'll be sitting close to that DPO. Abi? <laughs> All right, and uh, Comrade Onoje, you're welcome. Then, Journalist Hangout of TVC, you're welcome. All of you are welcome. All right, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, without wasting much of your time, we know that you've really spent some time here. Let's now bring on our special guest to give us the keynote address for today. Uh, after the keynote address, we have some performances, and now we do the presentation of awards. Please, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, can we invite Chief Babatunde?
Brother Mossi to give us the keynote address. Please put your hands together for him. Thank you very much. has already apologized to you all for starting this event a bit behind schedule and I have to confess that some of the blame actually belongs to me because I should have been here a lot earlier. Fortunately, unfortunately, some of us, many of us here, are privileged to get a ticket from time to time and we go to Dubai or we go to London. Sorry, can you just now we go to London and we go to all these places. And in all of these places, we see progress and development going on. You go to London, Chelsea Bridge. <laughs> That's what they call it. They've distributed it to all their people. 
and they've tried to deny us the opportunity to choose who will lead us. But this time around, we don't agree. Or we agree? Are we agreed? No. Many of us have got our PVCs now. The next step after getting the PVC is actually going to use it. That's the next challenge. And those of you in the middle classes, I'm going to appeal to you. Please, don't watch this election on television. <laughs> Am I talking to somebody here? Yeah. Do not watch this election on channels. Don't watch it on AIT. Get up there. Cast your vote for the candidate of your choice. Hopefully that will be me. Vote for the person that you want to lead you into the future. Don't vote because somebody somewhere picked his office boy and told you this is your next whatever. If you vote for guys like that, they're never going to listen to you. They're going to listen to the guy that picked them out of obscurity. And they're going to do his bidding all day, every day. But if you want a future that you can be proud of, if you want to get out of the traffic for once and for all, if you want to spend less of your time traveling in Lagos, then you know what to do. We have options. There are many things we could do very differently from the way we're doing them now in Nigeria. But we keep doing the same thing over and over again because we keep electing the same idiots over and over again. And I have no apologies for calling them idiots. I apologize to no one. Because only an idiot could come up with the kind of nonsense that we have now that we call a country. There's a small country somewhere in Asia. That country is about 20% of the size of Lagos State. On the Miami. That country has no oil. Zero oil. They have no mineral resources, none whatsoever. They also do not have enough land to plant the food that they will eat. Are you hearing me? They also have no fresh water of their own. There are no rivers in that country. On Adeyemi, now that country, tiny as it is, in 2017, posted a gross domestic product of 360 billion US dollars. On Adeyemi, that translates, going by their population of 5.3 million people, to a per capita income. Per capita income simply means per man, woman, and child that lives in that country. Are you hearing me? Per capita income of 60,000 US dollars per man, woman, and child in 2017. No oil, no mineral resources, no water, not enough land to grow their own food. Everything is imported in that country. And the country that I speak about, okay, I have the speaker back. Let's hope it works. Let's pray. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh, no, sorry, I beg. No begs. I didn't intend to bust your eardrums. Now, the country I'm talking about, the country I'm talking about has a population of 5.3 million people. And those 5.3 million people, each single one of them is richer than the average Nigerian. Hello? Hello? Do you know what country it is? No. Dubai has oil. Dubai has oil. 
I think they have almost as much oil in Dubai as Nigeria does. So if it was Dubai, they would have an excuse. We would be able to say, yes, it's because they have oil. That's the reason why they're so much better than Nigeria, and because they have such a smaller population than Nigeria. I think they have 600,000 people in total in Dubai. And Dubai is just a state, a component emirate of the United Arab Emirates. So it's not Dubai, sir. In actual fact, the country I'm talking about is Singapore. Singapore has 5.3 million people, has a total land size of about 716 square kilometers. Lagos State has a land size of, five, of 3,544 square kilometers. So Singapore, the total Singapore, is about the size of Ibetuleki and Ekme local governments put together. Let me tell you more about this country. Singapore has 10, 10 rail lines, 10 railway lines, and over 100 stations. Can somebody remind me how many train lines does Lagos State have? Remember, we're five times their size. Yeah? How many rail lines does Lagos State have? How many? Anybody? Somebody? I think we have one. One that runs from Alagbadu through Ikeja and goes into Ibutemeta Ayaba, right? They have over 100 train stations in Singapore, which is the size of Ibetuleki and Epe. And let me remind you, they have no oil. They have no mineral resources. They have no agriculture. Are you hearing me? And yet somehow, this tiny country has 10 rail lines. They have over 210 state-funded primary schools and education is free. They have 169 secondary schools in a territory the size of Ibetuleki and Ekpe local governments. They have five state-funded general hospitals. They have three specialist hospitals, five state-funded universities. Lagos State has how many state-funded universities? How many? One. Just one. Last one. Each of the state-funded universities is citadels of learning in the world. Oxford, Cambridge, Harvard, MIT, Stanford. Yes, they're all proudly affiliated to these Singaporean universities. Why are they so prosperous? I've not been there, but I've met quite a few Singaporeans. And I've never met any of them with two heads. Have you? Have you met any Singaporean with two heads? I haven't either. So why are they so different from us? Why are they so much better than we are? The airport at Singapore, it's called Changi Airport, is considered by many, many authorities as the best airport in the world. In its own right, it's a destination. People actually go to Singapore just to tour the airport. Are you hearing me? How many airports does Lagos State have? None. Okay, we have Murtala Mohammed Airport. Would you consider Murtala Mohammed Airport a destination? Would it be something somewhere you'd get up and just go visit? Neither do I. I don't consider it a destination either. When I'm coming back from abroad, I feel a sense of dread. When they tell me, ladies and gentlemen, we're now descending and approaching Murtala Mohammed International Airport, my heart always sinks. Because I know that once I step out of the plane, I'm going to see a bucket <laughs> that is receiving water from the ceiling. And that the terminal is going to be super hot. And when we get to the customs hall, it's going to be dark. I know these things. And it always happens. 
So we restructure. Let everybody go back to their village. Go and answer your father's name. That's what we need to do. ASAP. Because you see, Nigeria's wealth, as far as some people are concerned, belongs to everybody and belongs to nobody. Abby, have you all forgotten? It belongs to nobody and belongs to everybody. It's like people are not really paying attention to this. Hello? Hello? Now so that they carry on a drink a camel for this country. That's a fact. They distract you with all sorts of things that don't really matter. They distract you with talk of, you know, a substitute that has been substituted. Meanwhile, the important thing is that at the next election, you must change the change. Honor the me? At the next election, you must change what? Change what? Change the change. And when you want to change the change, will you change it just at the top and leave the bottom unchanged? Eh? Eh? I know you You have to change everything. We have to have total change. I'll give you a quick word about Lagos. What could have been done to make Lagos State work better than it's working now? And please, Understand that I'm speaking from a position of experience and knowledge that no governor in the history of Lagos State has ever had before they took office. Am I talking to somebody here? We have had several governors in Lagos. Many of them were trained killers, soldiers. The first governor of Lagos State was Brigadier, as it then was, Mobalaji Johnson, a trained soldier and a killer of men. The next governor was Governor Lawal, another trained soldier. The next one was Ndubisikanu, another trained soldier. The next one was Alaji Latif Chakonde, a journalist and a publisher, and a very, a man who had a lot of passion about Lagos. So he was able to achieve a lot. He was able to build Amuwa Dofi. He was able to build Alausa, the state secretariat, which didn't exist before he came into power. Yes, Alausa was not in existence. It's Alausa, not Alausa. That's the correct pronunciation. Alausa is the correct pronunciation, not Alausa. Okay? He also built over a thousand brand new schools that did not exist before he came into power in his attempt to make education accessible to every child in Lagos, regardless of their state of origin. He built over 20,000 affordable housing units all over Lagos State. Till today, we call every one of those estates Chakonde Estate. Yes or no? He also built the Lekki Ekpa Expressway and did not put a toll gate on it. You all remember that? He also built several hundred kilometers of roads all over Lagos and put street lights on every single one of them. He did all those things in four years and three months. Four years and three months. Now, what can we do differently now, today? We've had the Fourth Republic for 19 years, and in the 19 years that the Fourth Republic has been in existence, Lagos has not been able to replicate what Alaji Jakonde achieved in four years and three months. What can we do differently? We need more roads. We need more bridges. We need electricity. And I don't care what anybody says. Lagos can power itself. I've, I've been powering one small corner of Lagos for the last eight years with uninterrupted electricity. Yes, it's just 48 hectares. Yes, it's just about 300 homes. 
but the electricity has been uninterrupted for eight years. And in that place, I don't take personal income tax, road fund license, land use charge, abattoir fees, advertising fees, and all the other charges that the state government collects and is yet unable to provide any of the services that we provide, including water. Ladies and gentlemen, the way forward is for Nigeria to totally restructure. We go back to the 1966 constitution, to the constitution that existed up to 1966. Everybody goes back to their regions. You don't have this system where a president comes in and appoints ministers. No, the ministers must come from the House of Parliament. And every functionary must be answerable to their own people. That's the only way forward. Because if you are appointed by a president as a minister, you are not answerable to anybody but the president. But if you are elected as a member of parliament, and then from there you are appointed, which is the way the parliamentary system works, from there you are appointed to become a minister, then you are answerable to the people that elected you in your constituency on the ground. If you don't perform, next election comes around, they'll vote you out. It's that simple. So thank you all very much for listening. I have to run now. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to wait. I hear that uh, there's something more coming, but I won't be able to wait to receive it. I need to go. Thank you all very much. I'd like to call on um, Dr. Jide Otitoju, journalist hangout, to please come forward. <laughs> Commissioner of Police, Ogun State, Ahmed Ilyasu. Representative of the CP, please. This DP will look like he wants to arrest somebody. <laughs> On behalf of the organizers of this award, I have the honor of presenting it to you as the representative of our amiable. Commissioner of Police for Ogun State, Alaji Elias. Congratulations. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I want to thank the Classic uh, Magazine for this award. And I pray all Almighty will continue to bless the Classic Magazine for this award. And I dedicate this award to officers and men of Open State Police Command. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The next award goes to Popola Demola Abiodun. Popola Demola Abiodun. Popola Demola Abiodun, please. Otumba, Otumba, sorry, is not written here, so we say it as we see it. Oh, he's an Otumba indeed. Look at his Otumba hat. <laughs> Otumba Popola Demola Abiyodun. He's my good friend, though. Ah, you. <laughs> oh, my God, Otumba. How are you now? On behalf of Classic Magazine, the organizers of this award ceremony, I have the honor and privilege of presenting to you the award as the most resourceful young person of the year. Congratulations. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Otumba Ademola Abiyotopopola, Director of Foreign Affairs and Diaspora Matters to his Excellency, the incoming governor of Lagos State, Babajide Olu Shola Songo Olu. Songo Olu. Um, I won't be speaking much because the constitution does not allow me to speak. 
it is not yet a campaign period and I will not run foul of the law. But I have to tell you, Lagos move on, including the budget. Thank you, Otuba. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you very much. The next award goes to our great friend that just came in to give the keynote address. We want to call on Babatunde O Badamosi to come receive his award. Thank you very much. On behalf of the organizers of this so award ceremony, I have the honor and privilege of presenting to you the award as Africa's best treated real estate personality of the year. Congratulations. You know, it's um, always a real pleasure to receive awards, and we have received many, um, mainly for our efforts in the real estate sector. But I particularly cherish this one because it's from my good friends at Classic Magazine. And if you know the history of the magazine, you'll understand why. If you don't have a copy, my God, I take back one. Grab your copy. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'd like to call on um, Dr. Daniel Olukoya. Dr. Daniel Olukoya. Thank you very much. God bless you. Uh, on behalf of Dr. Tiki Ulukoya, I appreciate this award. At least it seems this generation is recognizing people in their lifetime and not post humanly. And we pray that God will continue to strengthen you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Would like to call on DCP Abba Kiari. DCP Abba Kiari. DCP Abba Kiari, please. Being represented here. That's a sector commander, Southwest. DCP Abakiari, Nigeria's frontline super cop, who is a nemesis to criminals in our land. This is a well deserved award as Africa's best rated police detective of the year. Congratulations. On the behalf of my amiable. Commander DCP Abakeri. Uh, I want to use this opportunity to thank the Classic Magazine for organizing IGP Intelligence Response Team. And I want to assure everyone present today that who much is given, much is expected. We will keep on the flag flying. Thank you. The next award goes to CSP Ghana Peters Yisa. 
CSP Ganapita Yisa Commander Pedrasas Lagos Command. Put your hands together. CSP Ghana Peter Isa, Commander Federal SAS Lagos Command, for, the, for winning this coveted award as the most resourceful SAS Commander of the Year 2017. Congratulations. Good evening, gentlemen. On behalf of my boss, I dedicate this award to the officers and men of Federal Stars Lagos State Command. Thank you very much. All right. We now move to another category, and uh, this is for fashion. And we have the man director of Fashion Mirror. Fashion Mirror. I think uh, she's a designer. Fashion Mirror. All right. The honor of presenting the award to you as female fashion designer of the year. Congratulations. Good evening, everyone. I dedicate this hour to God Almighty, to my family, especially my husband, for believing in me, for your support. Thank you all, and God bless you. Good night. Wonderful. You can see the way the paparazzi are dressed to. The fashion is really talking here. Thank you. Um, this award goes to none other than Aki Yoluwa Oluwa Toyin E, Africa Best Rated Building Personality of the Year. Africa Best Rated Building Personality of the Year. Madam, I have the honor of presenting to you your award as Africa's Best Rated Building Personality of the Year. Congratulations. I really want to thank God for this award. I dedicate this award to God Almighty for those He has taken me this far. And also, I want to thank all uh, the organizers of this event for counting me worthy for this award. And I pray that they have greater exploits and successes. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. The next award goes to engineer Dozier Mbanefo, Africa Best Rated Outdoor Advertising Personality of the Year. I have the honor of presenting to you your award as Africa's Best Rated Outdoor Advertising Personality of the Year. Congratulations. On behalf of uh, Engineer Dozier Mbanefo, we thank uh, the organizers of this event and we say that we continue to do our best. Thank you so much. It's presented to none other than Comrade Peter Johnson Onoja. Comrade Peter Johnson Onoja. Humanitarian, you come and show me that humanitarian today. Onoja is coming. They say he's uh, 
humanitarian service to mankind is on import. Wow. Is that your noja? Oh my god. On noja, on noja. This is an award winner with a difference. He, he has almost emptied the hall. Well, congratulations, Comrade Peter Johnson and Naja, for your deserved award, Special Humanitarian Award, for in recognition of your services to mankind. Kama 2018 Special Humanitarian Recognition Award. Congratulations. <laughs> in Nigeria and uh, I want to thank uh, Classic Magazine for this award because it's a special one. I've been gotten an award both home and international but this one is different because this is the first time I'm getting from Media House and two I have traveled all over the world too. Today you hear all sorts of stories about America killing and other things but I tell you if you ask a two years old American who wake up in the morning he said God bless America. Let every one of us think like that and begin to pray for Nigeria instead of causing That every day we wake, our children, ourselves, and let's say, God bless America. God bless Nigeria. And Nigeria will be a better place more than America. Thank you very much. All these men are well fed. Please, this stage by sing. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. The Anoja men are so big. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Isoleto. Isoleto. Which one again? Boga. Or the Boga. Okay, we do work first. Aluta. Continua. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Labor. All right, we'll now go to this very important Africa best rated consistent brand of the year goes to Zenith Bank Nigeria PLC. Zenith Bank Nigeria PLC. Are they here? Zenith Bank Nigeria PLC. Zenith Bank. Oh, can somebody come here? One of the customers of Zenith Bank, if they're not here. Who, are you a customer of Zenith Bank? What's your balance? Okay, that's Zenith Bank coming up. Bank has really talked too much. The money is too much. On behalf of the bank, I say thank you. Very simple. Eh? Or else they will use a lot and finish you. You know, we'd like to say uh, thank you to Zenith Bank for the wonderful decoration they did on Adeola. Is it, what's the place? Aki Adeola? Adeola That was a very wonderful job there. If, you, if you've not been to London, just pass there. You just feel London. <laughs> All right, Zenith Bank, thank you so much. All right, uh, the next one goes to Africa Best Rated Female Clergy of the Year, Apostle Grace Edith. Apostle Grace Edith. 
I think she did the opening prayer for us. Where is she? Oh, that's her. Congratulations, man. Uh, I have the honor of presenting this award to you as Africa's best rated female clergy of the year. Somebody join me to shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody join me to shout great grace. I'm so excited to receive Kama Award 2018. Indeed, it's a great privilege and I'm so happy. I want to say a very big thank you to the organizer of Kama Award. And I pray God Almighty will continue to increase the publish and all the, all the team of Karma in the name of Jesus. And uh, I want to dedicate this award to God Almighty. It has been Him. For a woman to run a church is not easy. I know what I'm talking about. And if there are pastors here, you will know what I'm talking about. A woman running a church, you know the critics, you know some. It has just been God. I just want to dedicate this award to God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And to my wonderful children, even when I travel here and there, they are always there. I just want to say thank you, Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Like you said, it's not easy to run a church. Even it's not easy to run your home. Not talk of a church. Mm -hmm. So we congratulate you. All right, now this is quite exciting. This award goes to a very young artist, fast rising young artist of the year by the name Young Kashi. Young Kashi. Young Kashi. What kind of artist? Okay. Play his music, let me hear. Wow, so honored, man. So honored to have this. I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't expecting this, but I'm so honored. And thanks to my record label, Aboke Entertainment, the magic in the building. A man like you need to them. <laughs> and to my teammate, man. My guy is NI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I'm so honored. I'm just so honored to have this. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Young Kachi. Is it Young Kashi or Young Kachi? All right, thank you very much. All right, we'd like to present the next award to the most creative actor of the year. The most creative actor of the year goes to Christian Paul. Christian Paul. Is he here? Christian Paul. Is that Christian Paul? This is like Christiana Paul. <laughs> Paulina Paul. <laughs> All right, thank you. On behalf of the organizers of this award ceremony, I present to you this award as the most creative actor of the year. Congratulations.
Good evening, everyone. On behalf of my boss, Mr. Christian Paul, I want to say thank you so much, and God bless you all. Thank you, Christian Paul, for that wonderful. I'd like to have uh, the best, wow, the best rated philanthropic clergy. The best rated philanthropic clergy goes to Dr. Chris Okafo. The Reverend Father, the best uh, rated philanthropic clergy, Dr. Chris Okafo. Is he here? Dr. Chris Okafo youngest African superstar I'm talking about none other than the youngest chief in the house by name Ozi 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 <laughs> All right Ozi B <laughs> Oh, yeah. Come on! Back to the bus. Oh, 
we went up because the boss could start singing. Yes, it don't blow. When he was when he started singing, he was singing children's song. Children's song. No, he called the guy girlfriend. You don't just sing, come and shake your bumper for me. It's not okay. And if you know you are here, you are older than Ozzy Bosco, you are not married, please get somebody pregnant. This guy prefers to give person belly. No, I need to give somebody, get somebody pregnant, man. You know, um, I have a son, uh, his name is Daniel. He's a four year old boy. That boy, ladies and gentlemen, I just saw my boss. Mr. Tunde Moshud, please put your hands together for Tunde Moshud. Now your wife be that? The real wife? Hey, I don't know. <laughs> um, you know, we just changed my son's school this September. Because in former school, school fees took us. We can't change the school. His new school now, when we go price school fees, 70,000 for Peking when I don't say Buari no way. Why is that? Why are school owners that wicked? 70,000 naira for a four year old boy. So initially, I, just, I was angry initially. I was like, let me price this school fees. Now the woman tell me, say, I don't need to price you. So I'm going to buy a book. I said, book on top 70,000. He said, book now 30,000. I said, what do you mean this boy want to read? What do you want to read? Out of annoyance, now I call my cousin Mother University. I said, Mecca, how much is handout in the university? He said, handout now, one five. The most wicked lecturer handout, two thousand. Now I said, Daniel, let's go. The man said, why are you going to? I said, man, let's go and start the university. That one is cheap. <laughs> university is cheaper than nursery school. You know, if you're a mother here, please celebrate yourself. Put your hands together for yourselves. All the mothers in the house. As a real mother, so not people get the level. The one where, where the owner of the picking green. You know, I never used to know that my son used to bed wet. I don't know say the piss in the night. I don't know. I don't always tell my, my, my colleagues, say Daniel does not pee at night. I they brag. Now when the mama travel, she travel. Now me and Daniel in the house. In the night, before we wake up, piss don't fool everyone, fool my body. I don't know who pisses inside two of us. I mean, look, I don't make a beat up, but you please let me piece this piece. You know, please, mother, celebrate yourself. Put your hands together for yourselves, all the mothers in the house. You know, shower Kale. You be, you've been a musician before. You can't talk pastor, can't die head. I don't understand this, you know. We think that when daddy freeze, because they say, say you are fat pastors. Pastors are even bigger now. Apart from that, is there any other thing pastors are collecting? Prophet offering. I had Chawakali, I just say the CV shop for people. CV shop for me, I want to blow. I'm tired of this work. I've been doing this comedy for many years. My mother and I don't born yesterday. I don't know how long I will stay before I buy another car. Pray for me, you know me. You know me. Don't be praying for people you don't know. I should come there. You want to pray, you want to dash me more. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, right about now, I'd like to welcome an artist on stage before we. Uh, before we continue, but right now let's just take a dance. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on stage. Nero, just dance crew. Nero, what you want? All right, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Uh, ladies and gentlemen, right about now, I'd like to welcome an artist on stage before we 
uh, before we continue, but right now let's just take a dance. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on stage. Nero, just dance crew. Nero, where you at? All right, let's go, let's go. Nero, where you at? <laughs>
behalf of Karma 2018, sir, we present this to you. Thank you. I'm not Prince Dayo Asadu, but Prince Dayo Asadu is my mentor and my boss. I'm receiving this on his behalf. Thank you so much to the organizers of this award. Thank you so much. Sunday Channel TV, a standing online TV channel of the year. A standing online TV channel of the year. And the winner goes to Tabloid TV. <laughs> Wow, this is like a joke. I didn't expect this. I didn't see this coming. Thank you so much, uh, the organizers of Kama Award. In fact, this is just like a joke. Um, what we had in mind was to just do, let us try to do um, a replica of what Soft Cell is doing in print. Let us do it by particularizing it on air. We call it, you know, when we started, we were going to uh, go by the name Soft Cell on Air. Later we said, ah, Soft Cell on Air is tabloid. Why don't we just choose tabloid TV? And today, it's just a year old. And now, someone somewhere saw. Thank you so much, organizers. We are very grateful for this. That's nice. We are still moving on. We have to make it as happy as possible this evening. Um, the next award goes to most influential social media group. Most influential social media group. CMC Gladiators. It goes to CMC Gladiators. Please come and give your award as you are trying to learn. Thank you very much. The great ambassador, way back. This is a word is for the people. It's for the people. I want to thank God that made it possible for us to receive the most influential social media of the year, 2018. Ambassador! Yes,
If you look at journalist hangouts, hangout, 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 hangout. every day from 5 to 6 p.m., it normally promotes CMC gladiators. We don't have money to pay him, but he loves what we're doing. Sir, doctor, thank you very much for all the support you have done for us. May God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. After Dr. Baba Jide. <laughs> Please, what does this award mean for you? Wow, it means the world to me. Eh? On behalf of the organizers of Summer Awards, I'm presenting this to you in appreciation of your of humanitarian service. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'm so grateful for the Sunday Award, and I'm dedicating this award to Jesus Christ. He made it possible for me. This award belongs to God Almighty. It belongs to Jesus. I'm just a caretaker. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Tama Award. And somebody shout hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you so much. She was, you know, just stealing everything on the table, you know, uh, you know, getting everything, putting them inside her bag, and everything. and it went viral. When I received it, I was like, "This is somebody I know. Can this be true?" Because it was so, it was so true, so real, like it was really happening. And you know what happened? A police officer actually went. On, a, on his Instagram handle and declared this woman wanted. I've never seen that. That is to tell you, this happened was so real. The, the police officer, I don't want to mention any name here. I don't know what's going to happen, what's happening now, because I learned a lawyer is suing somebody. So I don't want to mention anybody's name because this is public. But now I have this award. The award is for Best Actress of the Year Comedy in Appreciation and Show. I don't know, I am not part of the organizer, but I am sure this is a memento well deserved. Can I have H. Anthony for this award? Please, a round of applause for H. Anthony. A round of applause, please, encourage her. Face, but she's a soap veteran. I don't know if you know soap. She has acted in so many soap. And it's high time we started recognizing some of our 
talent. I can tell you, Opri, this woman is so talented. On behalf of the organizers of Karma Awards, I'm presenting to this to you, Best Actress of the Year, Kormi. Good evening, everybody. On behalf of my management and I, I say thank you very much to the organizers of this award. This um, goes to show that there are some people somewhere discovering hidden talent, and I shall be hidden talent. Thank you very much, God bless you. I really do appreciate it. And to the people that criticize the video, thank you. Thank you so much. Congratulations.